Hey, what's up guys? Ben from My Sports Stuff here as always with Richie Danell. Uh, today we're going to talk about the guy who most people yeah. think is the top prospect yeah. of this year's draft, Miles Garrett. Yeah, this kid is unreal. He's been unreal for three years. Uh, a lot of people are going to talk about the injuries and, and that was the biggest thing going into the combine. But I think since, since the combine, like you said, I think this has to be the consensus number one overall yeah. pick. Uh, we talked about it in the top 10 video, comparing him to somebody like Jadavion Clowney. Uh, great 40, explosive, 41-inch vertical, mm -hmm. but the production on the field matches, which is most impressive. Yes, he has the measurables. He has the, the physique, the frame everybody's yes. looking for. Yeah. But like you said, on the field, he's so great. And what stands out to me the most is his explosiveness. Yeah. It almost seems like he gets off the ground a second faster than everyone right. else. Yeah, it's almost as if he's he's figuring out the snap yeah. uh, without even knowing it. Uh, this is a guy who, 6'5", 270 pounds, has room. You talked about the with the frame. Um, he has that ideal look. Uh, eight and a half sacks this season despite missing three games mm -hmm. so huge production uh 31 career sacks 47 tackles for loss in three years uh and like including those missed games yeah. i mean that's speaks to the level of production that you can get out of this guy um uh, i don't want to say that he's uh better than Clowney at this point but i think it's in conversation that this yeah. kid is is one of the best defensive line prospects uh, that we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, and an added bonus is um, he played in the SEC. Yeah. So he's been playing against a lot of great offensive right. tackles, Sean Coleman, Lyle Collins, yeah. uh, Cam Robinson yeah. even. Um, so that's got to help. Yeah, you think so. I mean, most guys that we see in the draft, we you see a lot of SEC guys go at the top yeah. uh, just because it seems to be the most dominant conference, mm -hmm. and, and they compete against – other dominant players every single week. Uh, but not only that, I mean, you talked about Cam Robinson, but Connor McDermott, who was on my top 10 offensive uh, tackles list, he played against him as well okay. and just absolutely abused him uh, at, at, against UCLA. Uh, you know, so in non-conference, you get to see him go up against other guys. Right. And, and not only SEC guys, but yeah, this kid is just, he's unreal. And the 4'6 speed, I mean... It, you can't even yeah. it's it's like you can't even teach it yeah. to somebody who's that side it's just god given yeah so who do you have him kind of compared to the most yeah i think he, he's very similar to the all-time nfl sack leader bruce smith wow uh somebody who's just came in and was dominant he was very dominant in college had that that repertoire coming out when the bills took him number one overall and i think we're going to see something uh very similar to to miles garrett but with the way that the game has changed Cleveland might not necessarily have him put his hand in the dirt, and he could become a 3-4 outside linebacker yeah. with the athleticism. Uh, and you got to mention the seven forced fumbles. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, as an outside linebacker, he has the ability to get sideline to sideline and get the ball out. And uh, he can certainly move around anywhere. Yes. He has that athleticism. Yes, he does. And for my comparison, you know, I, I think the biggest person everybody compares him to is Julius Peppers. Yeah. I tried to find maybe a player different, but to me, he matches the most with Peppers, especially when he came out of UNC. Right. He kind of has that same um, athleticism and frame. And I think, you know, if you were talking about Julius Peppers playing at a 3-4 outside linebacker at the beginning of his career, he could have definitely have done it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he would have had just as successful as a career and I think Garrett uh, is the same way at this point yeah I think that's a, a very good comparison to especially with the way the game's changing you yeah. can't expect uh, necessarily him to stick at one position and, and team pending obviously as well yeah. now final question is there any way he's not the number one overall pick uh, the only way possible would be if you see a team maybe fall in love with Mitch Trubisky, okay. that, that Cleveland is able to move back somehow uh, and acquire picks. Um, you know, we didn't necessarily think Carson Wentz was going to go number two last year. And then all of a sudden, Philly just made a, right. a late rush uh, that shocked the world. Um, that would really be the only way uh, this kid has, has been excellent at every point on the field, off the field, measurable size. I mean... This is the definition of what an elite prospect is. Yeah, uh, definitely a great talent to watch and kind of, in my opinion, one of those once-in-a-generation guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to go on our website, mysportstop.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more original videos.